Hi. Um, I'm really aware that I haven't um, uploaded a video for a while. Uh, I've just missed the whole of July because um, I just wanted to do a bit more research on the topic that I had planned. Um, anyway, so I thought I'd just do a little quick one, fun, like full of some silly little facts that you might find interesting. Um, so, um, also, I don't know, can you see Pops on the chair behind me? Um, <laughs> Yeah, she's keeping me company, but for a change of scenery. Okay, um, so we're gonna focus on some weird little facts to do with cowboys today. Okay, you might be aware that cowboys uh, traditionally wear um, jeans that are called boot cut jeans, which is just so that they fit over their cowboy boots comfortably. Um, but I was listening to a podcast um, about um prohibition and heard the term bootlegging and was like where does that come from because it must have something to do with bootleg jeans um it actually apparently comes from um cowboys sort of hiding things in their boots um that might have been booze or like other sort of uh, items that they might want to carry and keep safe. Um, so that's where the term bootlegging apparently comes from, is them hiding stuff down their cowboy boots, which I just thought was really fun. Um, and the other thing that I um, found out while I was doing the millinery episode um, was that the Stetson what we automatically think is a cowboy hat called a Stetson. That's not actually the name of the style. That is the guy's name that designed it or came up with the design for it. Um, so what, when you think of a Stetson, that's actually someone's name, not the style, but it's become synonymous with the style. Um, but more on cowboy hats next. Um, if you're not calling it a Stetson, if that's not the design, what other names are there for a cowboy hat? And another name you might have heard is a 10 gallon hat. I was like, does that have to do with how much water it can hold? Like, what? Um, so actually, the name comes from, um, or the, it's kind of the style and the name. Um, so, they're referred to as Mexican cowboys um, in some sources who wore wide brimmed sombreros um, to shield them from the sun while they're out riding horses, rounding up cattle, etc. Um, and basically they call them 10 gallon hats. I think I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. It's got a little thing over the O. It's like G-A-L-O-N but with a little dash. Um, and that referred to how many like ribbons or bands would fit on the crown of the hat, like the bit that goes on your head. Um, and that has then become anglicised to mean a 10 gallon hat. Um, so the, the 10 refers to like it was a hat that had a crown big enough to have 10 bands on it. Um, and also like a 20 gallon hat was, it could have 20. So the crown was really deep um, or really tall. Um, so that's where that comes from. Like I never knew that in all my life. Um, I just thought that was really interesting and a bit weird. Um, okay, one more interesting fact for you. You might have heard the song Rhinestone Cowboy. I was like, it just triggered something in me. Like I love finding out the origins of words. Um, and I was like, Rhinestone, like what? what does that, where does that come from? That must have an origin story. And it does. Um, a rhinestone uh, was originally um, a type of rock crystal that was found in the Rhine River. So they were called Rhine stones. Um, obviously, we don't use real rock crystal anymore. Um, so they were like, someone basically invented a really cheap, um, fake version of original crystal rhinestones um and they've just become sort of weirdly synonymous with like 
country singers. I couldn't really find out where that started or why. Um, but yeah, like, so that's where rhinestone comes from. It was an, a, a crystal found in a river. And then that's just what they got called. And now we use like fake sort of glass or plastic versions of them now, I suppose. Um, so there's my weird little um, foray into cowboy facts, um, which I, I don't know where it's come from. Um, they're just, I just like finding odd little things like that for you. Um, I hope you enjoy. Obviously like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Um, get in touch with me on Instagram or on here. Um, and I'll see you soon for um, an in-depth episode.